Good morning guys, happy Thursday. Today is the day that I go to Orlando. I am so freaking excited, you guys don't understand. It's the first time I've gone back since graduating from UCF and I'm gonna see all my friends, I'm gonna go visit my sorority house, I'm gonna eat all my favorite foods, probably the most exciting part. Just kidding, the friends part is the most exciting part, but still. Eating is probably like one of my favorite things to do, so I'm pumped about that. I just finished packing up and my friend Taylor is coming to get me. We're gonna go to Snooze and then she's dropping me off at the airport, which is so nice of her. The airport's super close to my house, like incredibly close. I've never lived this close to an airport, which is so convenient, but also Ryan's at work right now and it's like such a short drive that I didn't want to spend the money to Uber there, so... I just asked Taylor for a favor and I, I, I hate being needy but also I want to save the money because I do have to Uber around in Orlando a little bit because tomorrow I have some appointments and my friend Charlotte is working during the day so obviously she can't like transport me everywhere. So I just want to save that little bit of money to go towards like the important Ubers, you know, where I actually literally don't have anyone to drive me. You guys will never believe but I fit everything into this small blue suitcase. I did it. I don't know how I did it. This time around I didn't bring as many shoes and I feel like that's where it gets kind of like chunky and big and like takes up a lot of room. So I brought, well three pairs but I'm wearing one right now and I feel like I usually bring more than that. So that might be the culprit. I'm that psycho friend that made the itinerary for the weekend. <laughs> so um, that kind of helped me pack though because I could be like, okay dinner this night, nice outfit lunch this day casual sundress today i didn't put on face makeup because i'm getting a facial tomorrow and i just got a pimple and i'm like well perfect because now she can extract it but also not perfect because i'm trying to have really good skin for this weekend and just like obviously in general um and it's one of those pimples that are just like under your skin and it like kind of hurts and i'm like mm, not the best feeling but i'm trying to like not pick at it just because i know that she can probably do it tomorrow and Hopefully it'll come to a head. Okay, this is TMI. I guess I really don't have that much to say. I'm just kind of rambling because wasting time and stuff. But I'm going to quickly take Sophie out before Taylor comes and just make sure I have everything. Because this is like the worst part. Like thinking you forgot something and uh, I just like need to leave the house and then like not think about it, you know. Taylor, we're at Snooze. Hi. Our it's favorite Megan. breakfast place. It's me again. <laughs> <laughs> Best place, so yummy. Got our food, I got eggs benedict. We're splitting a blueberry pancake. <laughs> and she got a little sandwich. So I'm at the airport, about to get dropped off. Shout out to Taylor. Hi. <laughs> um, and my flight got delayed by like 10 minutes, but hopefully not any longer. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to sleep on this flight. I don't know why, we're just like tired right yeah, now. so tired right now. <laughs> I am in Orlando with Charlotte. Guess where we are going, our first stop. Can anyone guess? We are at Susai Eat Station. I literally said I wasn't gonna come here because I was like trying to be healthy and stuff, but we um, just kind of picked somewhere around the airport and there was a location here, so I couldn't pass it up. Good morning guys, happy Friday. I am in Orlando, Florida, and I am actually gonna go lift to Starbucks near UCF because I have quite a bit of appointments to go to today. I have, well, just two I guess, but I have my facial, my girl Molly Man at Spa Bar. I can't recommend her enough. I sometimes get really deep whiteheads, so I'm just ready to get them all extracted by her. And then after that, I'm going to get my Invisalign, my new trays, because these are like literally three months old and there's so many planes flying above me right now, so it's probably loud. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna get new attachments. I told them they could put bottom attachments on the front of my, all right, we'll just, we'll just wait. I told them that they could put the attachments on the front of my bottom teeth only because those are like the ones that are having trouble moving and originally I wanted them all on the back. The attachments are all on the back so um, 
Hopefully it won't look too weird. And I'm also hoping they don't make me wear rubber bands again, but we'll see. Today is also the day that I get to see my two other best friends, um, Megan and Kaylin. And Kaylin's actually gonna come pick me up for my last appointment. We're gonna do some things around the waterford area and just hang out and waste time. Um, and then Megan's coming in later tonight, so I'm very excited. And then tomorrow's mock recruitment, and I'll just kind of get into more of that in tomorrow's vlog. So I just got to Fresh Kitchen, and I did a lot of work at Starbucks, so I feel very productive. I feel really dumb though, because I was looking at the time on my computer the whole time, and I was like, damn, like another hour until I eat, because I haven't eaten anything today. And then I looked at my phone, and it said 1043, and I'm supposed to be at Fresh Kitchen at like 11, so I was like, ah, uh, good thing I looked at my phone because I totally would have like passed the time and like wouldn't have realized that I need to be here. This is Brandon, Rihanna, Carly, and Nicole. <laughs> Hi everyone. I just got to Spa Bar here with Molly and I made a video the last time I was here about like my pamper treatments in Orlando. I know some of y'all follow me that go to UCF so if you're interested in getting a facial, come here. I'll link that video in the description box below. I just got out of my facial. I'm feeling so good and like relaxed. I definitely fell asleep in that facial. She is so good. Trust me guys, if you are in Orlando, go to Molly Man and honestly like i want to be back in a college town so bad even though like i technically am in a college town because of ut but i feel like prices in college towns are so good this facial was 60 dollars, and usually facials are like 100 or something like that and you can always get like a 30 minute facial and it'd be like way cheaper sorry about the noises i don't know what's going on she told me that a couple of people went from my videos and that makes me so happy because i just want to spread the goodness of her work like literally she's just so good and i want everyone to have good skin so it makes me very happy that um some people went for my video so if you guys are one of the people that went then comment on this video and tell me about your experience at spa bar because i'm curious if you guys liked your facial i am currently waiting for my uber and i'm about to go to my ortho appointment and i'm gonna get my new invisalign trays or clear correct whatever same shit um and I'm not really looking forward to it because they're gonna put new attachments on and they're gonna be in the front and just definitely not the most comfortable thing, so. All right guys, so I have my attachments. I just got my new tray and they put attachments on the bottom. Can you tell? I'm just the first two? The front two yeah. is all I can see. Okay, is it like noticeable or? No, okay, especially good. not when you smile. Hopefully not. Okay, I'm with Kaylin. <laughs> I'll be seeing Megan tonight, but we are gonna stop at Goodwill because we're just like kind of wasting time. We're gonna go to Ulta. I have to make some purchases. <laughs> Maybe you can help me because I know you're like super into beauty videos and stuff. Okay. We went to Goodwill. Kaylin found a really cool jean jacket back there for her New York trip. Yeah, show, yeah. show it. I don't even think I'll wear it in New York because I think it'll be too hot. But oh, true. I didn't think about that. Oh, weird. It's very okay. vintage. Super cool. So now we are going to go to Ulta and find me some makeup because I have not bought makeup in so long, I feel like. Really? Yeah. That's impressive. I know. I'm trying to use what I already have. That's I finished good. my two powders, so now I can buy a new one. So I got some foundation because I'm like getting too light for my foundation. So sorry that I was vlogging on my iPhone earlier. I just, it was such a crazy day, just so many things happening. So I didn't really feel like I wanted to just bring out my camera, um, but I have a little haul for you guys. I did some damage um, and I went to Sephora, I went to Ulta, and I went to Play-Doh's and I'm actually really happy I got to go to Play-Doh's because the Play-Doh's near UCF is so good. So if you guys go to UCF, check out the Play-Doh's because you could easily find like tailgate outfits, going out outfits, literally anything. All right, so I'm gonna start with what I got from Play-Doh's just because it's kind of out here. I'm really into activewear lately, so I decided to pick up this black tank top that says Calvin Klein Performance. I feel like it's really comfortable and it was only six bucks, so I was like, hell yeah, I need more um, activewear tops because I feel like I run out like so often. The other thing I got are these shoes and these were only 14 bucks 
and the brand is American Eagle and I don't know exactly what I would wear with this but I'm thinking like skinny jeans like fall sweaters kind of vibe I actually needed some refills on some makeup products so I went ahead and got them because there was a really good coupon it was like $10 off of 40 um, so the first thing I got is this L'Oreal Invaluable Pro Glow I love this foundation so so much this is what I've been using I want to say a year now but that may be wrong like almost a year now and it is so good and obviously it's drugstore so it's affordable I'm not really sure what color I am but I think that the one above this is the one that I'm using right now it's a little too dark for me and I'm getting like a little less tan but I do live in Austin it's still summer it's gonna be summer for a while so who knows I might get like a tan randomly so I thought I would just pick up the lighter color in case I wanted to like mix them both just to make me look a little less orange in the face um, and then I got this brow pencil and I've actually used this before I thought it was wet and wild but I guess it's LA girl so this is the LA girl shady slim brow pencil in the blackest brown next I am running out of the Tarte shape tape and I swear I've been restocking that for years now like you can go back and watch my old makeup videos and I've been using it for so long decided to try something new today so I got the Milani conceal and perfect I think I've heard a lot about this and I kind of did some quick research before I went to Ulta um, and I don't know if this is my color I feel like it's a little bit dark because like I like my concealer to be a little bit lighter than my foundation the next thing I got are lashes for some reason I just always have to pick up lashes when I'm at Ulta because I never know when I'm gonna run out so these are the kiss lashes in 11 and these are the ones I wear a lot. So if I'm not wearing my Wispies from Ardell, it's these Kiss Lashes. Then the last thing I bought from Ulta is this Miracle Matte Translucent Finishing Powder from Flower. And I've never bought anything from this um, cosmetic line before. But I looked up the best drugstore um, translucent powders and this was one of them and I actually took it out of the container and tested it and I was kind of like intrigued by it like it was really soft very very fine so I was like hmm I think I'm gonna pick you up and I don't think it was expensive at all because it's again in the drugstore side of Ulta and that is all I got from Ulta getting into splurge items <laughs> I went to Sephora and I picked up two things so I went in there wanting this Huda Beauty tan tour bronzing like contour contour cream it's pretty much a cream that goes on and like turns into a powder so it's super duper blendable i got it in the color tan which is actually super dark but it blends out really well so i'm hoping that'll give me like the perfect contour because i feel like my contour has just been like nothing like it doesn't even show and i just sit there like trying to like layer contour on my face but it just like isn't very dark um and then the last thing i got which was very needed because i got a facial today and she extracted the pimple kind of but it's still like a bump kind of thing and it just does not feel good and it's definitely not going to look good under my makeup so i thought i would try this out and my sister has been raving about these things i swear i get so many recommendations from my sister but this is the peace out acne healing dots and a lot of people swear by these so I thought I would give it a try because I just want this pimple to go so that is the haul of the day and we don't really have that much to do tonight but Megan is coming in so we're gonna go to dinner somewhere and not gonna be too crazy of a night but I'll probably vlog a few clips and then end the vlog did you miss it Megan huh? did you miss being on my vlogs yeah. Megan's here we're gonna go get Mexican <laughs>